average by Roshan sir. Useful for government exams, co-cubes, Infosys, Tech Mahindra, MCAT, TCS and other exams for campus placement. We have well-known aptitude trainers, more than 7 years of experience trainers, educated and trained more than 1,50,000 students. Yes, so we have all okay. coming here. Everyone have your book and pen with you. Let's say I have a number. I, I am writing some random yes, number sir. here. I have 1,153, comma, I have 1,057. Then I have something called as a, mm, a 1,083. Then we have something called as we have... 1105 then we have something called as 1128 so one two three this is thousand four five please find the average of this number and i hope you have remember in the previous class i said there was a paper called as four cube a simple question much simpler question than this was there the question number one itself in one of the sets says that find the average of this kind of a thing so whenever I've been here, can I say that the maximum number here was 1153 or 1153 and the minimum number here was 1057. And if I take a number between these two numbers, which can be easy for me to give the standard deviation, the lot of number can be taken. I'm taking a number 1100, means 1100. Take a number, I'm taking this number as 1100 and then I'll be comparing it. Comparing it means I'll be finding the deviation from this thing. And whenever we take the deviation of this number, let me tell you, the deviation from this number, this will be the point of a comparison, which means that this number is bigger. So I'll be writing plus. And how much plus? 53 easily. This will be minus. How much minus, my friend? Can anyone tell how much less is this? So if I go for this, correct. This will be 43. Great. If I'll talk here, uh, I think there is some problem. Let me remove this. So when I talk about this number again, it is less. How much it is less, my brother? This will be 27 less. Here it will be plus more. Here it will be plus me. So here it will be 17. So when we talk about the story, the difference between these two will be plus 10. This is how the things will become faster for you. If you take the difference and you go about it, it's plus 10. Plus 10 and minus 17, till here it will be minus 7. Minus 7 plus 5 till here it will be minus 2. Minus 2 plus 28 till here it will be plus 26. Which means that the mother says that since I got some deviation, which means that this is not the average. This is not exactly average. Then how much will be average? This is on the 5 thing. So it will be 5.2. Whether this is more or this is less, this is more, sir. Means this number will be plus 5.2 from here, and your exact answer will be 1100. 5.2 you can verify it through your normal method also trust me your answers has to be 11 uh, not 5.2 so this is how your standard deviation method work find the average of all two digit all two digit even number make sure that everyone will be using this concept and you should know where to use it as any blindly everywhere you can use this uh, this concept even number it's a question question bolta hai ki find the average of all two digit even number bear with me handwriting that's not a concern here i hope you can understand the question if you have understood the question i by now i'm expecting answer also give me the answer answer number one option number one i will say 54 anyone else 54 only great Every one of you, those who are solving and those who have solved this question, you have seen two digit even numbers, sir. Malab, two digit even number means subset chota wala answer, which is the smallest two digit even number. Who can tell me the answer? Ten. The smallest Ten. two digit even number, my brother. Ten. 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 Great. The next number will be 12. And like this, lot of number will be there. Which is the largest number I can get in here? 98. Which is even 99. 98. 98. 98. 98. 98. Because there's not an even number. First of all, you even. please understand there's not an even number. So 99 won't be there. What is the 98? So smallest even number will be 10 of two digit, and largest two digit even number will be 98. So all the number will be there in between. And if you see carefully, the difference will be always two, which means that indirectly I want to say that the AP series find the average of AP series. How to find the average of AP series? Average of AP series, if you know the first and last term, very easy. Add those numbers. 
and divided by 2 that is nothing but 108 by 2 what is 108 by 2 my friend 54 so all those who have got this answer i am i'm really happy that you are understanding the part of story you are following the discussion and you guys are getting the answer if you have any doubt till now you can ask a doubt here i don't have any problem let it be the slowest class on the earth but make sure that whatever the concept we are discussing it is there with you and should remain with you till your examination SNA, it's not like that that today you learned and tomorrow you forget that's not my intention so i'll be doing the limited question but all the concept i'll be covering in the class that's the thing which we are discussing here this point is clear to every one of you all of you understood this question can i go to the next question now yes sir i'll be using the same concept and i'll be asking a new question to you what is the new question i can ask you uh let me ask a similar question find you can write this question find all three digit not find all find average of all find average of all three digit number and let me recommend you something very strongly don't just uh, watch this screen that will not going to help you out whenever i'm teaching something i'm also writing which means that i want you people to write it down on the book find the average of all three digit number which when divided which when divided by five leave remainder four in each case very good so this is a question i want you to find a similar kind of question this time i am not giving you that uh, this is even number odd number or consecutive number no i want all those three digit number which when divided will leave remainder four yes. as a sub number all these kind of number which will leave remainder four when we'll divide by five and the number should be of three digit i'll be waiting for an answer my people so i want people to literally try this question even if you're watching this video whenever you're watching this video make sure that we'll be doing it off or those who are live doing the classes please solve the question so a lot of people have already given the answer but yeah okay, 554 502 great 554 dear prakash says so a lot of people are getting a lot of different different answer which means that i need to discuss this question now so when, let me let me let me tell you how we should actually approach this question Question solving is not difficult. Only thing difficult is that you should acquire a method through which you always approach a question. Whenever I see a question like this, I am not very smart like you guys that I'll be directly starting a question. For me, I'll always go and see three digit number. What is my three digit number? 100, 101, 102. If I'll talk about this, 103 will be the other number, 104, 105, like this 106, and a lot of other number will be there. This will be till 999. This is the meaning of three digit number. Then I understood all. I don't want all three digit number. I want three digit number which divided by five and leave remainder four. When I divide this number by five, my remainder is zero. So obviously this will be one, this will be two, this will be three, this will be four. Means the first number which I'm looking out of the series is one not four. Now I'll be writing this number separately. One not four is the first number. Five again will give zero. This will give one. The next number will give two. This will give three. This will be four. So this is six. This will be seven. This will be eight. This will be nine. The next number will be. 109 i hope you ever understand i'm doing it very slowly so everyone will be able to understand this one off this 109 let me plug the power source here please give me a minute okay. great yeah it's open so i was just talking about that i'll be getting a number like 104 i'll be getting 109 like this will get 10 will be zero the next number will be 114 and like this a lot of number will be there i am not interested in the number let me check whether this number is giving demand for four or not so i check this number and when i divide it by it i hope everyone can divide and you'll get four as a remainder 49 then you'll divide to get again four as a remainder 49 again you'll divide by 5 you'll get 
score has been met. Means this is also included in my goal. So I hope everyone can see it very clearly. The difference between them is a uh, five, and which means that this is indirectly we are saying that this again question belong to AP. So let me tell you, question will never tell that I am from AP. You have to understand that it is from AP. And whenever you have AP and you have to find the average, no need to worry about. Only what you have to do is that you have to just simply. Find the first term that is 104. Find the last term which is 1999 and divide it by 2. Divide it by 2. So this will be 1100 by 3. 1103 by 2 which is nothing but 5 by 1.5. Let me ask you some more question on the same concept. See what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to teach you one concept very slowly so that whenever a question being asked from here, you will be able to answer. I'm trying to cover all the possible questions from this concept which you can encounter in your campus recruitment uh, drive or anywhere else when you're preparing for the aptitude paper. So let me talk about the another kind of question. This question also I've seen in one of the company paper. I think this was a uh, test conducted by AMCAT. Question was something like this. Average of Uh, seven consecutive number average of seven consecutive number is 23 find sum of third and fourth term Find the sum of third and fourth term. Nowhere long down the line they are saying that you have to find the average. This time they are asking the sum. What is the sum of uh, third and fourth terms? So how many of you understood that whenever we talk about consecutive number, consecutive number is nothing but one after other. That is like one, two, three, four, five, like this number. And by default, whenever I'm talking about consecutive, whenever I'm using the term consecutive, either consecutive number or I'm using consecutive even number or I'm using consecutive odd number by default whenever you're listening these many terms your mind should say that sir this is AP without doing any headache consecutive terms with this number with even number odd number you'll always say that sir this is nothing but a AP great this AP till now I'm, I'm there with my people I have seven number like this one two three four five six seven and they said very clear that average of the seven number is 23 and according to my understanding the average of AP series is always the middle term this term should be the average and whenever we talk about this term should be the average can I say that 23 has to be the average that is nothing but the middle term now there's the first term there's the second term there's the third term and since it's a consecutive number this number will be 22 and since this number will be 22 your answer will be 22 plus 23 which is equal to 40 so those have got the answer as 45 trust me you you did it very well again for you average is of the average and is both combination are there average is of four member Oops. four year ago four years ago ago was 23 in present one member joined and average become 28. What is the age of the new member? If you ask me in RS Agawal, this question is given or similar kind of question is given. So this, I also find this as an important question. Reason is that I've seen this kind of question in examination. You can mark my word. You can call this kind of a question as double star minimum. You can expect this question again in the exam. Itself. Let me write it in the faster way. See how in real time how I'm solving this. What was the old average? 23. When? Four years ago. Which means that in present the age has to be 27. This everyone can understand. Four year ago it was means in present plus four. So this has to be 27. But no, this is not 27. It is how much? 28. Means one extra. For how many member? Four was there, one more member joined is total five. So one into five. One into five will be how much? One into five will be five, sir. So if I'm not wrong, sir, this is five more than twenty-seven. Five more than twenty-seven will be how much, my brother? Thirty-two. Or you add four member are earlier. So in the new four uh, plus twenty-eight. Either way around you can get. 
don't try to confuse yourself go with one method in older one how many members are present into that uh, whatever change plus one so your answer is 32 so i hope everyone understood this easy question right uh, a lot of you said you'll you'll be seeing this kind of question question kaisa hota hai uh, they ask a question similar kind of thing like average age of let's say five member group i hope everyone have all of you are writing the question five member yes, group five years ago was 28 in present a new member joined sorry let me write it here new member joined and average become average become let's say average become how much is the average let average become 35 or average let, let me give you another one average remain same means there is no increase in the average so what i'm trying to ask is that what is the age of new member ye aapke paas question hai five member group average in present uh, five year ago was 28 means in present plus 5 because 5 has to be increased here so this will be 33 if i'm not wrong 2 and 3 correct but due to a new member this average remain only 28 which means that the gentleman who joined the group is lesser than the person that's how it has otherwise if that person is also 33 the average should be 33 only since average is less than 33 which means that the person who joined in the group is less than 33 itta to sabko samajh mein aa gaya ab kitna less hua hai 33 में से 28 निकाल दो तो कितना लेस हुआ फाइव लेस हुआ नाउ जस्ट फाइव लेस फॉर ईच ऑफ देम फाइव वॉज देयर नाउ वन मोर मेंबर सो टोटल मेंबर इन द ग्रुप नाउ इज सिक्स सो फॉर सिक्स मेंबर फाइव इज द डिफरेंस सो दिस विल बी थर्टी नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड अर्लियर केस ऑल द केसेस दिस नंबर वॉज ग्रेटर दैन द प्रीवियस नंबर हेंस वी हैव एडेड दिस नंबर इज स्मॉलर दैन द ऑल अदर नंबर so what we will do is that we'll go and subtract this 30 and the age of that gentleman will be joining the group will be 3 ye kahani samajh mein aaye ki nahi have you understood this question or not every one of you confirm on this fast so that we can yes, go now, to the next yes, concept kisko ye kahani samajh mein nahi aaya arju ko nahi aaya ashish three ab aa gaya very good very good very good very good ankush kumar jha ko samajh mein nahi aaya badhiya then ask it buddy unmute yourself and ask nothing wrong in asking the things so let me tell you if you have been a part of the discussion before it says that 28 is the uh, five year ago average so present average has to be 33 for the five member now one more member joined me six member and because of this may six member the average decreased decrease means less how much decrease the average decreased by five now this five decrease is not uh, everyone is not responsible for this only the person who joined the group is responsible for this अगर वही बंदा सिर्फ रिस्पॉन्सिबल है उसके बारे में देन आई कैन ऑलवेज गो बैक एंड से दैट सर ये तो लेस है वो बंदा दो पर्सन केम इन द ग्रुप इज लेस देन वॉट एवर इट शुड बी देन ये क्या होगा अगर मैं गलत नहीं हूं तो दिस विल बी सॉरी दिस हेस्ट बी माइनस थर्टी थ्री माइनस थर्टी इज नथिंग बट थ्री सो आंसर ऑफ दैट जेंटमैन विल बी थ्री सो आइर वे राउंड यू कैन बी गेटिंग द क्वेश्चन आई दर द नंबर आफ्टर फाइव ईयर विल बी इंक्रीज Or the number after five will be decreased. If the number is increased, add. If the number is decreased, then minus. In this case, decrease. So I have subtracted thirty. I hope this method of solving this kind of problem is clear to you. I'll give you one homework, every one of you. Please uh, do this question when we will meet for the next session. We will be discussing this one. All of you, write down this question. Question is similar kind of thing. Average age of four member group. four member group let's say 3 year ago 3 years ago 
was 53 in present i'm sorry in present two new member joined what is the sum of those member sum of age of those member Please bear with me with my handwriting. I hope you understand. Instead of sum, I can also ask what is the average of uh, age of those members. So these are the two possible questions from this uh, structure. I want you people to take it as a home, solve it, and come back when we'll be meeting for the next time. Is this clear to everyone of you? All of you followed this? Yes, sir. If you have a question, then what I'll do is that I'll go to the part three of average and that will be the last point of discussion in today's class after this we'll close the uh, close for the day and then we'll meet up next class and do the part four and part five if there's anything i left so what is part three this homework let me go back to this later okay thank you for watching this video you should definitely watch the next video link in description